Oh man, that's so cool, isn't it? Oh, it looks wicked on here. Oh, that's so cool. That is the man. Is that the man? It's not Bruce Lee, but it's Jackie Chan. It's Jackie Chan, Chan, isn't it? Chan, isn't it? I love stuff like this. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh man, I love, I love this. Hello, back on your screens again as a duo. Yeah, Been so it's time. my first one with Ollie since before my cancer treatment started. So it's been months, isn't it? Yeah. But so. we're at a place in Liaojie, Shenzhen, at this cool, kind of quirky restaurant. It's a place. retro, it's retro like a, restaurant. Yeah, it's like a retro restaurant, Hong Kong, old Hong Kong style. And uh, we went to one in Changsha a couple of months ago. I don't know, it was like a year ago. Yeah, now. it was a year ago. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. And they've just opened one in Shenzhen recently. So we're going to go in and check it out. Oh. Take the camera in there. So I think it's been open about five or six months. But when they first opened it, there was literally a queue about half a mile long. And you had to make a reservation. So we sort of give it a bit of a miss at that time. But uh, we're back now. So it's kind of basically like a destination a restaurant or a destination with multiple restaurants inside it. As far as I understand, there's like different kinds of restaurants in different parts of it on different floors, but kind it's of kind like of... A... Oh man, that's so cool, isn't it? Oh, it looks wicked on here. Oh, that's so cool. I love retro stuff. I, I'm really into retro stuff. I'd have, a, I'd have a house like this if I could. You get your, get your retro Lego, mate. Yeah. Imagine having a Lego, one actually, of these. I have actually got some Lego like this. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've built one. You'll have it's to like, flash a oh. picture up on the yeah, screen. Yeah. And you've got, of course, there's a load of seafood, isn't there? Yeah, wherever you go in China, there's going to be a lot of seafood. Don't you worry about that. There's the old crabs. It's mad, isn't it? It is, man. I was saying, if you showed someone back home that, they'd freak out, wouldn't they? Oh, cool how they've made it to look old, but it's all new. It reminds me of um, if you're watching a Hong Kong film from like the 80s and they're like yeah. jumping across the yeah, buildings and... Fighting <laughs> with bamboo sticks and yeah, stuff, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they used to run for miles in those films across the buildings, haven't they? Yeah. It's so, so good. I love, I love this kind of thing. It's like, you just look even how they've like done all this kind of, like here, to, to make it look broken, but it's all been done to look like that. I think it's so cool. Yeah, look at that. It's a concrete, just a concrete sing. No enamel, and no, no enamel and nothing on it. You just don't it's get wicked. those nowadays, it's so do you? It's just so wicked. It is. Even like, it's even kind of like dirty. <laughs> you know, to, yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, it's just very authentic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, I get what you mean. It's got the rust yeah. look on it. Yeah. Even the cables, they've got them all like, how they would be. It's so good how they do it. Yeah, there is attention to detail. Yeah. I wonder if they study like photographs or how they they get it. They, they must study old like pictures or photographs or video or something. Because they get it absolutely spot on, don't they? So the thing about these places, they're less about the restaurants and the food, especially for girls. They're much more about the photo opportunities. <laughs> it's quite funny because all around here you'll see like people taking selfies and post them on social media so it's a big thing yeah it is a massive thing taking selfies in china just here look these these young girls are getting that photo moment understandable though in a place like yeah, this yeah. it's pretty cool it is a very cool place oh look at that man that like oh wow that's like a massive concrete like pillar with a screen in the middle how cool is that I remember my very first time going to Hong Kong about 30, 35 years ago, and it just blew my mind when I saw all those signs, because I'd seen nothing like it before. What, what, what signs like are you on about? All these signs that stick out into the street, and how everybody lives in such like little boxes all stacked on top of each other, you know? So just completely different to what I've ever experienced in England. Yeah, there's nothing really like that in the UK, is there at no. all? Oh, we've, we've reached a dead end here. Yeah. Carl, look at these super old televisions, man. 
You can't imagine televisions with that wide, can you? <laughs> like, I mean, even when I was young, like we had a TV like that, that yeah, wide. That massive Sony one we had. Yeah, yeah. It took two people to carry. I kind of like these vinyl, vinyl toys. I'm really into these. This has gotten is massive, it? hasn't it, recently? Yeah, yeah. But I, I feel like, though, it's one of those things that will be here today, gone tomorrow. They've opened all these shops. I just wonder whether they'll still be here in 12 months' time. For me, like, I look at one of these and think, what the hell is that? It's just a piece of plastic oh, that's going to so go in the cool. bin. This is a car series, man. I mean, you love it's them, so don't cool, them. yeah. I, I'd spend loads of money on these. I don't, but I could. Because I, I love them. I just think they're, they're kind of Japanese inspired, aren't they? That's oh, cool, man. It's cool. <laughs> All these traffic light things look. <coughs> There's a specific noise that really reminds me of Hong Kong, and it's the noise of when the traffic lights are green and it's yeah. like. Yeah. 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 Like, that noise just makes me think. Hong Kong. That was what we called a portable telly. Portable, yeah. Yeah, that was a portable TV because it was it was small enough to be able to carry around. Doesn't look very portable to me, mate. You're showing your age now. You know, in China, they still use these to teach maths in schools. Well, it's very visual, isn't it? That's... Yeah. Do you know what it's called? I don't. It's called an abacus. Oh, an abacus. Yeah. That is the man. Is that the man? It's not Bruce Lee, but it's Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan, isn't it? Chan in it yeah. I think more the man is Bruce Lee, isn't it? No, 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 no. Jackie Chan. I mean, there. he's more my my generation. But... Yeah, Bruce Lee was big in my time. I even remember there was a magazine in the UK that was all about Bruce. Oh, it was I one of those that, monthly yeah. collectible ones, man. Yeah, he was literally like a star in the West, and he. he brought Wing Chun, didn't he, that style of yeah. Kung Fu to the West. I actually think he was probably bigger in the West than he was in the East, to be honest. You reckon? Yeah. I don't know how big he was uh, here. A lottery look. This is something that quite surprised me because I thought lottery and gambling was just like completely illegal here. But there are, there are actually... Gambling is, unless you go to Macau, but lottery is. Oh, I guess it depends how you define gambling because yeah. I would say this is, this is gambling, but... Obviously, this is kind of allowed. Do you reckon they've not finished building this bit or what? Yeah, they've, they've cocked up here, haven't they? <laughs> it looks like something out of Joe 90, that does. It looks like something out of Back to the Future, more like. Ah, DeLorean. <laughs> oh, they got a Coca-Cola store. Oh, man. Oh, this is oh, dangerous. Man. I love stuff like this. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh, man, I love, I love this. <laughs> Shouldn't have walked oh, in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm probably gonna, oh. Oh, no. Oh, man, they've got all that. Oh, man. It's so good. <laughs> so good. Oh, look. Oh, look. <laughs> look at that, man. Whoa. A, cr a red chrome bottle. Whoa, that's amazing. Oh, look, it says dad on it as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love this kind of stuff. You're big into your retro things, aren't I you, am, mate? yeah. I love retro stuff. I'll tell you something else that a lot of people don't know. It was, you know, Santa is defining like red and white and yeah. the clothes and that. It was literally Coca Cola who defined that. Oh, uh, yeah, I heard he, that before. He was actually. dressed differently before Coca Cola dressed him up in like a red and white suit. So Coca Cola made <laughs> Santa. Oh, here he is. Oh, Here's the big so Santa. so cool. Like a robot vending machine, man. Let us know down in the comments if you think that is so cool. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it, man. Look at these. Look at these. They're so good. What? So after all that talking, I'm feeling a bit thirsty. So. We're at Brew Monster. Yeah. So, the guy told me earlier, they've got no cider, which I'm a fan of. I'm not, I'm not a beer fan. However, he says he's got some fruit beers which are quite sweet, so I might try one of those. So what fruit beer do you have? A 
How's that strawberry kush then, mate? Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Ooh. Yeah. Do Chinese like this style of beer? Do Chinese people? Uh, maybe, maybe few people. They they have drinks of craft beer. Uh -huh. Yeah, they love it. Because it's more, it's a new to Chinese people craft yeah. beer, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is our day done at Wuhoyo, Hong Kong retro restaurant place, whatever you're gonna call it, done. Make sure you do come and have a beer with Freddy. Come and have a beer with Freddy, the bar guy. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. And this video over dad's face right here apparently is the one you're gonna like next. So make <laughs> sure you go and check that out right about now. Anyway, we will see you in the next one for now. Take care. Take care.